Oh, and the last thing was um, Olivia Gondak. It, it says that I wanted to eat her pussy, Olivia Gondak. I've never said that in my life to her. I would never do that. I'm happily married. I've got more than enough to eat at home. Thank you very much. Make sure to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe to Spacebound for more top 10 videos every day. Turn on notifications so you never miss a video. Leave a friendly comment and I'll make sure to reply to every single one of you. God, can't believe that just happened. Anyways, hi and welcome to another Spacebound video, where today we'll be counting down 10 unbelievable moments caught on live TV that might have been a little bit over the top outrageous, inappropriate, or downright crazy. Number 10, Tom Hanks drops the bomb. Being the clean cut gentleman that he is, it's hard to imagine Tom Hanks ever doing something like this at all. But like any other person, he'll occasionally let an F-bomb slip. During an episode of Good Morning America where he was talking about his recent work in Cloud Atlas, he also did a little bit of role playing, but took the role a little bit too seriously. That one? Yes. Oi, oi. Most, mostly it's swear words, so that's, 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 uh, that's a little bit. Of... Well, if you say it with an accent like that, they won't I, I, swear words. I, I, I want people to buy me book and fucking book. Oh, oh. We are so sorry. Uh, good morning, America. Man, oh man. I'm sorry, I slipped into a brand of acting. <laughs> Immediately catching his mistake, Hanks apologized to the audience and, well, just laughed it off. He was totally professional about the whole thing, but it's just something we really didn't expect. Number 9. Wrongful Highlight Next on our list we have an embarrassing screw up on behalf of Fox 9 News where they were originally supposed to show us a clip about Justin Verlander's awful pitching, but instead gave us Kate Upton's Cat Daddy video. Justin Verlander, he was just brutal last night. If you watch the game right here on Fox 9, he was not his usual self. Nope. The uh, NHL... Uh, well, that's his girlfriend right there, Kate Upton. So let's just get right to it. I figure I'd put that in there for you oh, yeah. and for Randy. You did for me. And, you know, <laughs> this is his girlfriend. All of the viewers there. This the is SI the cover reason model. why supposedly Justin Verlander did not pitch very well. Um, I think you chose the right highlight. <laughs> not exactly sure how this mix-up could even happen, but <laughs> all right. Number eight. Fuck it. I quit. Most of us have often dreamt about how we could hopefully leave our jobs in a blaze of glory, but for this one KTV news reporter, this dream actually was a reality. As Carlo Green was reporting for the Anchorage Alaska Medical Marijuana Organization, the Alaska Cannabis Club, she revealed herself as its owner, stating that she'd be dedicated to put more focus on the path of legalizing the substance rather than journalism itself. Everything you heard is why I, the actual owner of the Alaska Cannabis Club, will be dedicating all of my energy toward fighting for freedom and fairness, which begins with legalizing marijuana here in Alaska. And as for this job, well, not that I have a choice, but fuck it, I quit. All right, we apologize for that. So rather than giving her boss two weeks notice, she gave us a shock news anchor and a loss of words. Honestly, priceless. Number seven, Camel Toe. They say good things happen to good people, but for one local woman, it's just a string of bad luck. During a local news reporting in Northwest Harris County, Texas, we were shown an interview of the news station that had a local Samaritan who called the police on a robbery. Understandably, she wanted to remain anonymous to avoid any potential danger, but it, um, yeah. Deputies say six teenagers used a basketball to break into this house. Luckily, a neighbor was watching and called police. Oh, I've never seen this happen before. So what the? Really afraid. Deputies say this woman who wanted to remain anonymous helped them track down six teenagers, two of them girls, breaking into a home on Eagle Glide this morning. Yeah. I saw my dog uh, barking. <laughs> <laughs> so we're positive that the cameraman's intentions were to show her hands, but I'm baffled at how this got across to the people at the station. <sighs> My goodness. Number 6. What a drag. Lions have become a popular pet in some countries, even the United States, but people often seem to forget how dangerous lions really are. During a live talk show in Mexico, we're able to witness this fact about lions, which one who was on set attempted to drag away and possibly eat a little child. Las leonas de ese león. ¿Son más sensual? Así es, más ah, sensual. Oh. Es que, mira, depende también del clima, depende también de su condición hormonal, de todo su sistema hormonal. Ah. ¿Qué cambia y varía de humedad? Ni Pauli, vente. No, no, no ni no, Pauli, no. No, 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 no
Tranquila, tranquila, ya. tranquila, tranquila, tranquila. No muevan, no muevan, no muevan. No muevan, no muevan, no muevan, no muevan, no muevan, no muevan, no muevan. No muevan, no muevan. Tranquila, amor mío, tranquila, tranquila, tranquila. Ya, 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 ya. No pasó nada, no pasó nada. Miren, déjenme contarles, es una cachorra, tiene seis meses de edad. Me gustan los niños porque... Maybe it was the little child's whining that caused the lion to act aggressively, we don't exactly know, but thank goodness she only bit into the child's pants, and it was tamed enough to be easily pulled away. That could have been a lot worse than it was. Number 5. Killjoy Coming from a 2012 K5 News report, we have a clip that I honestly think might be justifiable. As Meg Coyle was reporting about the people sledding at the base of Queen Anne Hill in Seattle and how it was a dangerous place for locals to be playing, we have one person come into the shot and voice her opinion loud and clear. And really, I mean, not to be a killjoy in all of this, but if you are going to venture out on this hill, be safe, wear a helmet if you can, because like I said, it's getting icier and icier as that snow just compacts further and further. And we know that it's not going to get any better. Uh, in fact, it probably will get worse as long as this corridor is open. Again, you just saw a car go by behind me. Buses are coming through here too, and as I mentioned, a number of close calls, but still Police fun to watch. Just stopped because of your reporting. Thank you so much for ruining the fun. Total, complete killjoy. All Something right, well. Something that's gone on for a decade, and you've ruined okay, it. Okay. Okay. Uh, wow, 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 wow. All right, that's Meg Coyle at the base of Queen Anne Hill, and uh, Queen Anne, as you can tell, is close to cars. Apparently what had happened was because the news station was reporting on the people sledding and why there weren't any police to stop them, they actually showed up, ruining a 10-year tradition the locals have always had. Number 4. Nude Restaurant We've all likely heard about nude beaches, and now there's a nude fad coming out which are nude restaurants. Doesn't sound too sanitary to me. Reporting from New Zealand, we are given a story about an upcoming restaurant who's using this fad to market their restaurant and are fully aware that something might slip out. You can see there is naked. Did you see that? Whoops. Lucky, are you there? Kind of, I keep looking one direction, glancing something, look away, cop an eyeful of something else. Did you need an apology if, um, a little bit earlier on in the show um, that you saw too much? Maybe something you didn't want to see. Yeah, so we, we do generally apologise um, for that. Yet, they still aired the story live. I guess they must have been pretty desperate for a story in that case. Number 3. Land Verpol Gwyn Goloko Chen Dro Land Still Go Gugach? I know I butchered that for a fact, and I'm sorry, but coming in at number three is weatherman Liam Dutton from UK, who took the internet by storm when he pronounced this town's insanely long name without fault during his piece. Now today we had a big contrast in temperature across the UK, just 12 degrees over coastal parts of eastern England with cloudy skies, but in the sunshine in northwest Wales at RAF Mona, just up the road from Clanbyad Pushwing, Gilgogeda Quindrobos, Lantisilio Gogogor, the temperature got to 21 Celsius at 70 in Fahrenheit. Named that way in 1860 for promotional purposes, this town in Angsley, North Wales can also be pronounced Lanferpole. We're probably making a bigger deal out of this than we really should, but the news channel this was aired on proudly uploaded the clip on YouTube with other news channels like CNN and City News covering it as well. And Jimmy Kimmel had a little bit of fun with it too. Number 2. Bush doesn't care about black people. Kanye West had his fair share of jackass moments on live television. Mostly the VMA incident with Taylor Swift were almost again with Beck at the Grammys, but this was the one that many couldn't believe. Live during a telethon to help those affected by Hurricane Katrina in 2006, Kanye West and Mike Myers were side by side asking viewers to help donate however they could. First expressing his views about the media as well as how much he could help, viewers were feeling for Kanye. But once it came time for him to speak again, well, got a little bit interesting. Red Cross is doing everything they can. We, we already realize a lot of the people that could help are at war right now fighting another way and they, they, they've given them permission to go down and shoot us. And subtle but in even many ways more profoundly devastating is the lasting damage to the survivors will to rebuild and remain in the area. The destruction of the spirit of the people of southern Louisiana and Mississippi may end up being the most tragic loss of all. George Bush doesn't care about black people. Please call. Kanye gladly apologized to the president, however, but just wow. Number one, enough to eat at home. 
finally on her list is probably the most savage moment any mayor has ever had on live TV. As former Toronto Mayor Rob Ford was speaking about a recently released documents regarding the video of him smoking crack, he also kindly addressed a few messages, one of which being about a colleague of his, Olivia Gondek. Oh, and the last thing was um, Olivia Gondek. It, it says that I wanted to eat her pussy, Olivia Gondek. I've never said that in my life to her. I would never do that. I'm happily married. I've got more than enough to eat at home. Thank you very much. God, honestly, I wish he had a microphone to drop. Would have been perfect. But anyways, that concludes 10 unbelievable moments caught on live TV. If you've enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for better content to come in the future. Right now, you're going to see a couple other videos up on screen that I think you might like if you like this one. There's going to be annotations to them, so go ahead and click on those and have a look. But before you do that, in the description below, there's going to be a link to a really good foundation that I really do think you should check out. But besides all that, hopefully you have yourselves a great day.